Okay, number 17 and 18 are going to be involving solving a systems of equations. Now the idea here is you want to get rid of the one of the variables so you can solve for one variable and you can solve for the second one later. There's uh, two different methods uh, that we're going to use in this test here. One's elimination and one's substitution. I'm going to do this problem with substitution. I'm going to do the other problem, the uh, next problem with uh, elimination. Now, again, you can use either method on these. You don't have to just, just do only substitution on that first one. I'm only choosing to do this for you to show you the two different methods. In fact, if you want to do both of them with elimination or both of them with substitution, that's your choice. Okay, so even though this one we could definitely solve it by elimination, I'm going to purposely solve it by substitution just so you can see that method for those of you that want to do it this way. So when you do substitution, ideally you want to look for a variable that's by itself that doesn't have a number in front of it. This does have a negative one in front, but that's easy to divide by. If I had like a two or something else, then maybe I wouldn't want to do substitution on this one because then I'd have fractions as part of my answer. But this one, I, don't, I won't get a fraction if I solve for A. So here, I'm going to go ahead and start with the second equation there because it has an A kind of isolated by itself. And I want to solve for A. So what I'll do is I'm going to subtract 15B from both sides. I get negative A equals 51 minus 15B. Okay, then I'm not done yet because technically there's still a negative one in front of the A. So I'm gonna divide both sides by negative one. I get positive A on that one, and I get negative 51 plus 15B. And you can keep it that way, or if you'd like to switch the order and put the positive number first, that's okay as well, either, either one would be fine. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the second version here, 15B minus 51. I'm going to take this, I want to put it into the first equation. Now you don't want to put it in the second equation, the one you just work with, because then everything's all going to cancel out. You want to use the other equation. So we're going to put, instead of the A here, I'm going to put 15B minus 51, and I have plus 24B equals 42. So in that one step there, I've taken out the A, replaced it with a B, so now you notice that B is the only variable that's left. Okay. So now we're just going to solve this for B. Multiply 5 by both things inside here, 75B. If you take 5 times negative 51, you get negative 255 plus 24B equals 42. The only thing we can do here is add like terms together. I have a 75B and a 24B. When I add those together, I'm going to get a 99B. I don't have anything I can combine with 255, so I'll just leave it. Okay, so next thing I want to do is move the 55 over to the other side. So I'm going to add 255 and add 255. By the way, sometimes I see people doing this on a test. Somehow they'll add 24 and add 24 here or subtract it and do something like that. You can't, when you add something or subtract something, you got to do it to both sides of the equation. Some of you guys did this on the midterm. Some of you guys I saw doing minus 24 and minus 24 here and cancel out the 24 and we get 75 minus 24. That's not correct. You can't just subtract something on the same side of the equation. You have to do the operation to both sides. Okay, so we're doing that on both sides of the equation here. You get 99B and then when you add that together you're going to get 297. Okay, so then we're just going to divide both sides by 99 even though it doesn't look like it might be a whole number. We actually do get a whole number here. Uh, when we do that we're going to get B is equal to uh, 3, as it turns out. Okay, so that's one of my answers. So on my answer blank right here, I know that uh, I'll put for this one, uh, I'll just put it here, B equals 3. And then the other one, I'll just put A equals something. Okay, so I have the, that answer. Now, the easiest way to solve for A is just go back to the equation where A was always, always isolated. So I can just put 3 back into here. So my, so... Uh, using that same equation, I have A equals 15 times 3 minus 51. And then when I simplify that, I get 45 minus 51. And when I simplify that, I get negative 6. So now I know that my other answer is negative 6. So if you're doing substitution, what's nice is you're already going to have one equation where the variable is isolated. So that makes it easy to solve for the second time. Again, we had B is 3. We just threw it into here. They gave us our A, so that's both of our answers.